All right, what's up guys? This is Spooky and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Blaster Master. In the previous part, uh, we beat areas one and two and we got this crusher item. Super sick beam, does lots of damage. And uh, now that we have this, we can actually make it to area three. So uh, that's what we're gonna do. Got some more lightning bolts, always useful. And we're pretty well stocked on health too, so that's nice. Anyway, uh, the, the crusher item that we got is the last of the weapon upgrades that you get. Uh, everything else is kind of like a different type of enhancement. So for example, there's hover, you can kind of see HOV on your screen. You may have noticed the H power-ups that we picked up too, but uh, hover lets you actually hover. It's pretty sick and it's necessary to beat the game. Um, other stuff that we can get that's also pretty cool and I don't want to spoil what it actually does but it's an item known as the uh, wall one <laughs> wall one and wall two and uh, you might be able to guess what they do based on the names but uh, I don't want to spoil it because it's actually pretty sick one of the most fun moments in the game is when you get the wall one power up so we are backtracking here in area two we need to find our way to area three and it's gonna be behind one of those uh, those brick walls I mentioned Yeah, now that we have the crusher, as you can see, we can break these open. That's not actually the way we want to go, though. It's right here, not too far away. In the store. Here's area three. So uh, once we get to area three, this is kind of where it stops being uh, as linear. And what I mean by that is uh, area three doesn't lead directly to area four. You kind of have to figure out, you know, your way to area four and where it is from that point. And the same with the rest of the areas five, six, and seven. Um, it's not they're not in standard areas you just have to know or guess or figure it out based on things you've seen in the past anyway this area area 3 has kind of a robotic theme as you may have noticed oh I don't want to die yet please I'm dead wah, wah. All right, well we lost our first life here in area number three and this is why you have to be cautious man if you rush through these areas like I just did you will die <laughs> literally we only have a limited amount of continues too so we really don't want to die too often just one of those H power-ups I mentioned anyway this way to the west uh, we can't make it here yet partly because these spikes are in the way and because the path is so small but um remember it for later because we will be back to that area there's also an area here that we cannot make it completely through but also good to know about So to the east we go. Oh my goodness, the enemies so annoying. So I can't remember if we go north or south in this room, but we'll figure it out. Uh, yeah, this is the right way. Awesome. And again, same deal. Take your time. Don't run into any bombs. Don't let the slowdown get you. This game's notorious for that. Uh, during slowdown, sometimes it eats your inputs. So, like, if you want to jump through something, but the game's slowing down. Nope, you just fall. Fun right? Anyway, this game is, is probably one of the hardest uh, adventure style games. And I don't mean things like Battletoads or Bayou Billy. I mean like, I don't know. It's got its own unfair moments though. That is for sure. And uh, it's going to be pretty fun for me to play through this because I find that a lot of people who are fans of Blaster Master actually have never beaten the game before doesn't surprise me this game's pretty hard and long and don't give you enough continues basically this game's a recipe for disaster but people love it <laughs> including me okay onward all 
Obviously, I want as much health as I can always get. Health is always useful. This room. Probably the most annoying room in this area. Look at the slowdown. You can even see the sprites flickering. <laughs> the jump so we want to go uh, further uh, north in this room rather than take uh, there's a doorway there to the west but that actually leads the wrong way here we go oh, that guy's stuck there forever I'm not gonna waste my time trying to get to him Another one. Health? Nope, no health. Okay, this is actually uh, the room that leads to the boss, uh, the boss area, or the boss maze, if you will. So we are almost there. We don't have homing missiles yet. They actually are really good versus some of these enemies. Okay. Oh, there's more to it, huh? It just goes to show you how forgetful I am. There's even more. So this boss, unfortunately, we cannot use uh, the pause glitch on. I forget which bosses you can do it and which ones you can't. I think it's uh, boss 2, 4, and 5, or 2, 4, 5, 6. I forget. We'll find out as we go, though. Whoa, my lightning bolt got stuck. <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Lots of little glitches coming out today. So this is it, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, here we go. So this leads to the boss maze. No need for us to wait, we're just gonna jump right in. And these uh, orange spike block things do damage you. And you can tell how I, uh, I don't really mind getting damaged that much in this game. Yes, obviously I don't want to die. But uh, this game definitely punishes you for panicking. So, uh, you know, just keep your cool. you usually be okay. This room actually has a bunch of items in it. I wonder if I can get any of them. Oh, there's homing missiles. Yeah, and a gun upgrade. that I immediately lost by getting hit. <laughs> Help. Hey, we're almost out of here. And here we go, boss area. So this boss, uh, not too tough. It's basically a whole bunch of, I don't know how to describe them other than computer chips like this. And basically, I'm just gonna mash a lot of grenades and uh, hope that I kill everything. And it takes a couple of tries, that's okay. Don't hit me, please. I think there's two left. Oh, I died. That sucks. Wah -wah. <laughs> so, zero lives left in area number two. Back we go. Area 3, sorry. Hopefully we can take this boss out this time. One 
here? Yep. Don't hit me, please. I don't want to die right now. I'm so close to being done. Yes. All right. So we get yet another upgrade. This time it's the hover. And you see it on the menu, it's the hover. One of the enhancements to the ship. And to check it out. Uh, now we can actually, like fly hey it's like limited flight but um yeah um we have full health in the tank so that's good don't have to worry too much anyway now that we have the hover uh we have access to a new area that'll actually lead to area four but uh for us to get there we're gonna have to do some backtracking work our way there and you'll be pretty surprised to find where the entrance to Area 4 is. It did take me a while as well to figure it out when I first played this game. I was like, hey, well, how the heck do I figure out where to go next? Uh, so here, we can't actually make this jump without our hover. So here we get to show it off. Check it out. Awesome. It's pretty limited, so we really want to preserve it uh, for the times we really need it. The worst thing we can do is try to get, get to where Area 4 is and not have enough hover. Because then we're going to have to farm hover icons. And farming is never fun. At least not to me. So uh, there is a shortcut that leads back to where we want to go. Is it up here? No, it's not. It's in uh, the next large room that we'll find. Oh, I didn't take damage there. That's interesting. And <laughs> that time I did. <laughs> Is there another one here? Yes. Health. Health will be nice. Yeah. I love it. Mm -mm. Okay, so where is that shortcut we need? Oh, there it is, I bet. So hover over here, and then you just take out all these bricks. And if you remember, I showed you this area at the start. Nice little shortcut for us. Anyway, our goal now is to, uh, to make it all the way back to Area 1, uh, which is a shorter route than it sounds, since we have the Crusher and the Hover, uh, to make things a little easier. Don't hit- oh my god, I got too close. See how much damage that did? And that's why I never want to get hit by those things. Back to Area 2. So again, we're going to take advantage of these uh, shortcuts here. That'll help us get back to area one with any luck. Health? Yes. More? Haha, -ha, that's great. Although I got hit there. I don't even know what hit me. Was there a bomb there? I probably didn't notice, or am I? Nice. We need a little bit more hover. Hopefully we can get some uh, on the way to uh, the entrance to area 4. We really want to have full, but a uh, one away from full would also be fine. Back to area 1. Where are my homing missiles? Here they are. I can actually just break these with the Crusher, not those three for some reason, but the regular block blocks. English. <laughs> so what I really want is some hover, and uh, there are some enemies in the first area that uh, drop hover pretty commonly, so don't think it'll be too bad. It would be much worse if we didn't have any hover right now. We would be here for a while. OK, 
Okay, so here's the room that actually we started the game in, if you recall. These are the enemies we want, actually. There's one. Two. One more would be nice. Yes. Alright, so now with full hover. Ouch. Oh, cool, and we get a lot of health back. That's always nice. So here we are back at the beginning of the game. If you notice, there's a little platform up here. Well, that's actually a clue. If we jump up here and not get hit by the enemy like that, that was pretty foolish. Then bam, we get even more hover. Almost there. Mm -mm -mm. Nice, we made it. Awesome. And this is going to lead us, of course, to Area 4. Give me some health, you stingy bastages. Alright. So, Area 4 it is. Anyway, guys, uh, this is going to be the end of this part of Let's Play Blaster Master. But we're here in Area 4. Uh, this is a very cavernous, really tricky area, so uh, pretty complicated. And anyway, we lost a couple of lives so far, so we also want to be careful because if we go to zero lives, we'll have to continue. And if you have to continue, it takes you all the way back to the start of the stage. So something that we'll have to be careful of and consider uh, when we go through the stage. Anyway, see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far.